Rassas! 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 Oh, what's up with him? I've seen him before. Whenever he gets a whiff of an especially tasty pie, it's like sleepwalking without the sleep. You mean he's pie walking? Yep, yeah, and I think I know where. <laughs> A mashed potato garnish and pepped by moi, Monsieur Tort Visage, pie maker extraordinaire. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. Yum. Mm -hmm. Ah, no touching without buying. No. <laughs> My beautiful face! Uh, my beautiful pie! Dad? Oh, oh, hello, son. Uh, fancy seeing you here. <gasps> Lads! Uh, hey, no, just you. Uh, you know, checking out the competition. Oh, not bad. Needs more pepper. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know nothing about pies. Oi! If my son reckons your pies need pepper, then your pies need pepper. I taught that boy everything I know about pies. Oh, really? And how long does that take, huh? Five minutes? I'll have you know I bake the best pies in Beano Town. Ask anyone you like. Ask your customers. Oh. Magnifique! It seems that even your friends prefer the taste of my pies. <laughs> we never said that. Although, this is very tasty. <laughs> oh, that does it! We'll settle this once and for all. I challenge you to a pie-making contest! Oh, bien sûr! And whoever loses has to close down their shop for good. <laughs> oh, uh, um, I'm going to second. Unless you are un scared cat. <laughs> My dad's not scared of anything. He'll bake a pie you'll never forget. Six o'clock tonight, right here in the street. The town can decide. <laughs> oh, what have I said? What have I done? If I lose this bet, I'll have to close down and leave town. What? Leave town? But that'll break up the menaces. And what about Paul? Oh, his friends are here too. We can't let that happen. You'll just have to bake the most popular pie of your life. But don't worry, we're here to help. I've seen your idea of help before and it always gets out of hand. <sighs> what are you planning? We're going to find the best flavour in the world. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. <gasps> hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Très bien. These nincompoops are no threat to me. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone. Hey, don't worry, we've bought enough for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how are we going to find the town's favourite flavour if no one trusts us enough to take one? I've got it! We'll go undercover. Huh? Undercover? Très sneaky, why? But Monsieur Tarte Visage is a sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to tell us your favourite! Oh, apple, no, please! Oh, oh, thank you! Straight for fruit, chicken, pork, 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 Run! Sergeant, we must 
punish these troublemakers, no? Perhaps I can uh, make a petit suggestion? Ha ha! Oh, no one will dare try our pies now. We'll never find Beano Town's favourite flavour. Oh, Tort Visage started it. He splashed me with mash. We can't let him win, or the menaces will be split up forever. Imagine that. Mash! <laughs> it's too big to eat. Oh, no. If only Pyfees were still here. <laughs> Dennis, oh, this mixed up pie mix is the best. Huh? Oh, whoa, he's right. This is delicious. <laughs> We've still got a chance. Our fantastic flavour is right here on Pie Face's Pie Face. We just need to know what's in it. Pie Face, what hit you? Um, some pies. Only one thing for it. <laughs> More cherry. Oh. Oh. Uh, now chocolate. <laughs> Just when I think you lot can't get any sillier. Back off, Walter. This is a highly scientific experiment. Try apple plus strawberry. Huh? <laughs> Nearly. There's just something missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, we're running out of time. Think, Pyface. Do you remember anything? I remember suddenly feeling very cold. Eh? Why would you feel cold on such a hot day? Of course. Angel Face is flying ice cream. Oi, Walter. I bet you can't hit me with that ice cream. Hmm. Bet you I can. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Do. That's it. The missing ingredient. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. So, three parts cherry, one part chocolate, yep. one part beef. <laughs> really? Don't doubt the pie master. And don't forget the ice cream. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Ha uh ha! -uh. Hmm? Ha ha ha! Beth is too scared to even turn up. <laughs> a great big recipe makes a great big pie. Nothing can stop us now. Hold it right there. After that fiasco in the park, no one wants you coming near them with a pie. So, Monsieur Tort Visage requested a police line. <laughs> uh -huh. Safety first, way. <laughs> but, but if people don't taste my pie, I don't stand a chance of winning. There we go. Set one foot across this line and I'll arrest the lot of you. Huh? Oh. And it just remains for you to name me the winner. After all, this is the only pie in the contest, no? <laughs> ah! No! Many seeds! Two arms! <laughs> Dennis, I said... You said don't set one foot across the line, so we won't. Dennis! Stop using those catapults at once! <laughs> yes, Dennis, listen to your papa. And start using these much bigger catapults. <laughs> <laughs> Let our old friend get drummed out of town, did you? No one splits up our gang. Oh, hey, everyone! It's delicious! Oh, oh, yes, oh, 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 very good oh, 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 Delicious! Does everyone agree? Oh, yes. 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 yes! Right then, Dino Town, we have a winner! Yeah, that is it! You win! I would not stay another second in this crazy town if you paid me! Does this mean our pie shop's safe? Too right it does, son! <laughs> and more importantly, so are the menaces! We're a winning team! Now who's for second? Sport of Intel, old chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Mash, mash, mash. Or salesman. Mash, mash. 
Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Lush, 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 lush. Ah. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, eh? Colonel? What's wrong? There's a bar oh. two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom. That's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasher. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. Eh, hey, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Okay, we're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A... Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian wirefin piranha. Oh. Nash proof glass with titanium lid and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A, A striped right jumper, jumper Dennis. Dennis. Ah, there you are, lads. Status report 1600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Could be time for rations then, eh? Wonder what piranhas like to eat. <coughs> so, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> ...highs. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. Ah! Ah! What on earth? Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh-eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> There you go. No harm done, eh? 
once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing. Deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! <laughs> Nash Nash! <laughs> oh. oh, no, I shouldn't. Well, I'm sure heart can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. Long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis. Yes. <laughs> Just came over to uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right, sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. <gasps> uh, what are you doing? Um, Pie Face. He just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Duh. Get out before I call the police. <laughs> oh, pardon me, bad pie. Oh, 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 oh that's not oh, you. Oh. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> OK, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan. to see him every day. Nash, Nash! <laughs> Nash! So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't, and what I'm... <laughs> Just a 
city's on the move. Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! Temptation, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh. <laughs> I did this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. <laughs> ah, thanks, Walter. Couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with it! Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> As I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. <laughs> nice. huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chump. They're sending their top man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> who, who elbows me? <laughs> <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right! Everything is fine! I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute... This looks like an animal bite! Hmm... An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swig. 
Bob. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B O G. Bust out, Nasher. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Underpants. Scramble. Uh oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only got two pairs. Come on, Pipe Ace. Underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record breaking sausage. Find the missing piece and we find the culprit. Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha, unleash the please! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha, got away! Nasha! Uh, Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! Oh, I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage, <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? Ah! 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 Hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> yes. Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Curly's a good singer. Curly! <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I won't keep the record. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch? Hello? Oh. Well. <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! <laughs> well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage.
Nash. <laughs> way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day. Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies, but at my age, my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Ah. Get him. Uh -oh. Run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, 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 where'd he go? Uh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. Oh, how can we beat Gran's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha. I know how we'll win Gran's trophy. <laughs> see what we have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder, <laughs> and you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's pretty oh. Time for a menace makeover. <laughs> oh, hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog, Gummer. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, you brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me <my> pie. <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognise me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No. I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? Dennis. Vino Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Beano Town free of menaces? Mm. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... <laughs> made with red hot chilies. <laughs> Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. <laughs> no, don't mention it. <laughs> hey, another two pranks done. Only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross the street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> Dear, I forgot I need to go to the shops. 
<laughs> oh, was I on the way to bingo? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Daniel first. <laughs> After I've returned my life for a book. I'm busy with the optician. After that. <laughs> Just stand there. <laughs> uh, and what is the meaning of this? And the fake snake in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. And look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> Oh, I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. Hey! <laughs> Got you, Gran! <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> no one suspects us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah! Excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the print in this menu is far too small. Makes my eyes go funny. We have to do something. What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking bean or town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's get them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> The one and only. <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. <sighs> After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start setting a new record. First one to the top wins on the count of three. A one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Walter, Angel Face, my office. <laughs> now! Sport is about working together, pulling as one team. Tying up Mrs. Creature is not a sport, Dennis. <laughs> Next week is the annual triathlon against Grey Towers Prep. Our school hasn't won that in 20 years. Ah, but this year we will. Because you three will represent Beano Town School in this year's competition. <laughs> what? Us? Team up? With these losers? Now, now, I want you to prove that you can pull together for the school and make me very proud. Choose a captain and get training. Team Beano Town. You three are the triathlon team. <laughs> I know, Curly, I know. But maybe with a strong captain, someone with talent, charisma, someone like me. There's only one way to settle this. A pie face off. Yeah. <laughs> Get the pie will be captain. Get ready, get set, get pie! <laughs> <laughs> And I'm the captain of Grey Towers. Hey, look, Jules, look, Gemma, our competition. We usually jog up and down Mike Beano to train. I don't think we need to bother. Not now we've seen you, smelly little oiks. Hey, Walter may be smelly, but he's no oik. That's right, but no, uh huh? Oh, looks like the triathlon trophy is ours. Again, little losers. Losers. <laughs> How very dare they, smelly oiks indeed. I've never been so insulted. And I thought you were pompous. Nobody calls me a loser and gets away with it. Right, we're going to swim harder, run faster, and ride better than ever before in the history of the triathlon. Who's with me? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, sounds sweaty. Come on, we can't let them beat us. We're Team Beano Town. <laughs> oh. Walter, you leave me no choice. I'm sending for special ops. <gasps> The games begin! <laughs> Just imagine you've got itching powder in your swimming trunks. <laughs> what? Oh, as if I would. Walter and Gemma, on your mark, get set. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Gemma. First round to Grey Towers. <laughs> nice swim, Gemma. One nil to you. It's Jules, actually. 
Oh, hang on. You... Hmm? Round two. BMX trials. Good luck, all. Loser. I can beat you with my eyes closed. Time for my legendary triple swing back. You're the legend of the triple, Dennis. What happened? Uh, the twins used a magnet to mess with my bike. Not all. Gemma didn't finish the swimming. That slimy Jules did it for her. Yes. Oh, okay, team. We've got to win the final race. Who's with me? <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Don't open this till I tell you. I'm on to you, cheat. <laughs> Forever. Listen closely. <laughs> what? Go back the way I just came? Until Nasha Nash the tires. That's a serious allegation. Do you have proof? Yes, we do. Nasha? <laughs> that's the snorkel Jules, not Gemma, used to win the swimming. And that's the magnet they used to make my BMX crash. <laughs> do, do, do let him nash me again. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. We did cheat. <laughs> Right, well, in that case, Grey Towers is disqualified. This year's triathlon winners are Team Beano Town. Hang on, if the competition's over. <laughs> you, oh, give me that! I'm the team captain! <laughs> Not anymore! Not anymore! <laughs> Today, we're putting the fun into fundraising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. <laughs> I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. <laughs> no! 
way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Beetle Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> right -o, hop on. Oh. Here we are. Right -o. I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, grease the baking trays. Nash, Nash. Carly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you the Walter Wafer. <laughs> Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. Oh, oh, oh the decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. Oh. There, the oh. first satisfied <laughs> customer. <laughs> Let's get back to school and start selling. Our oh, Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. So, cash only, keep the line moving. <laughs> Could resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come! La, la, la. From the frozen <laughs> north <laughs> to the Straits of Gibraltar, <laughs> it's no snack better than a <laughs> wafer <laughs> from Walter. <laughs> oh, that's very good. good. Oh, that's superb. That's superb. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers, finest cookies in Beano Town. Cookie here, cookie here. See that Time for Plan B. But Walter, I thought the song was Plan B. Time for Plan C then. Oh, Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. <laughs> Wait, come back. A special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says many mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. This is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful. Right. Uh, two can play at that game. Hello? Beano Town TV? Meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> OK. We need some lipstick, balloons and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. Chew. Oh, I've got your story here. 
Just upload this video file. <sighs> Why not? for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals, with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm -hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects. Dizziness. <laughs> Strange squiggles on your face. And finally... If you don't want your head to explode... Buy many mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis is scared of our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. We sold 158. And Walter sold 154. Yeah! 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 But he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, because I bought a box. They're really nice. It doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the Entertainment Square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Oh, really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shethington Grouse, we waited 57 days, don't you know? <laughs> I put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow, that really was fast. Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Uh, probably your stomach rumbling. Hungry for some Walter wafers? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! Yeah! And here's your prize. Three passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. Yeah!